Hi, I'm Andy and I'm going to show you how to make a snowflake Christmas card using Scratch on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, it doesn't have to be a Raspberry Pi, you can do it um, uh, on, on any computer that can download Scratch, which is pretty much any computer. Uh, hopefully your card will look something like this at the end. Uh, hopefully it won't take us very long. So I'm going to close down uh, this Scratch, which is showing you what it's going to look like. Uh, we're going to start completely from the beginning. I'm going to throw away what I've done there. So on your Raspberry Pi, you'll see a Scratch logo, hopefully somewhere on your desktop. If you're not on Raspberry Pi, you'll need to download Scratch from somewhere and install it. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. So we start out um, with this annoying cat. So the first thing to do is delete the annoying cat. So right click on it and delete. Click on your stage and then click on backgrounds and then edit to change your background and I'm going to use this a nice kind of wintry um, blue color um, as a background for my snowflakes so I choose a color choose the fill tool um, and that will fill in the whole of that window blue uh, so that's my background now let's start off by just having a, a message that says Merry Christmas for, um, for the person we're giving this card to. So I clicked on the create uh, paint new sprite button and I'm going to click on the, this T to draw some text. I'm going to make it fairly big. I'm going to choose a nice bright green color for it. I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can see a bit more of the screen. And my writing is going to start there so I'll just move that over and I'll write Merry Christmas. I want to emphasize that so I'll use an exclamation mark. So now I've got Merry Christmas appearing on my screen. I'll just drag it up to the top there. Now we need to make some snowflakes. So again, click on the Paint New Sprite button. Um, and wait for that window to appear. I'm going to use the Line tool to draw a snowflake made out of white lines. So I choose the white colour, choose the Line tool, and then I'm just going to draw my snowflake like this. I'm basically going to make a plus sign and then an X on top of it. I'm going to do this roughly. You probably want to do it a bit more tidily than me when you do it. I'm going to make some little spikes on each of the lines that I've drawn. It's quite hard to see what's going on here because you've got the the dots that mean transparent and then I'm drawing white on top of that and a lot of the, the transparent dots are white but you'll get the hang of it. Um, if you want you can draw your snowflakes a different colour. It'll be easier to see. But, uh, you know, snow's white, so that's up to you. I'm just going to draw a few more of these lines. In the demo that I did for you before I started, I only drew one line on each stick, and I think that wasn't enough. I think we need two, so you have to put up with me doing that. Get that out of the way so that I can click on OK. In fact, while I'm here, let's move me over here. So now we've got a snowflake, but there's only one and it's not appearing and disappearing and things like that. So now we need to write some code to make it actually do some interesting stuff. So almost all of our code in Scratch starts with when the green flag is clicked. So that's what we're going to use here. We get go to control and pick up the when flag clicked button. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to make it... Oh, I've got to move myself again. We're going to make the snowflake disappear when the green flag is clicked by clicking on hide. And then what we want to do is we want to wait for a little while. And then once we finish waiting, we want to show the snowflake. But I don't always want to wait for one second. I want to wait for a random amount of time. So I can do that. I can do that by going to operators. And then there's this pick random thing. And if I drop that in there instead of the one that was there, We've got pick random 1 to 10 seconds, and actually that's exactly what I want. I want to wait um, for either 1 second or 2 seconds, or up to 10 seconds. And then after I've waited, I want to show my snowflake. Uh, and what I also want to do is show it for a little while. So I'm going to do another wait. This time I'm going to have an actual number of seconds. I think I'll wait for 6 seconds. Uh, and then actually I want to do all this again. 
So I'm going to make myself a loop. So I get the forever box. And I drop it around and it nicely pops around all my stuff. So now what we're saying is when the green flag's clicked, hide, wait a random amount of time, then show the snowflake, then show it for six seconds, and then go back to the beginning and hide again. And actually, why don't we just try that out while we're here. So I click the green flag, it disappears because I told it to hide. We waited a random time and then it showed, and wait six seconds and it should disappear again. There you go. So we're getting somewhere, but what I want is I want that to um, that snowflake to appear in a random place and a random size. So let's start off with a random place. So inside the motion thing, you've got a go to. So just before we show it, I'm going to say go to, and I'm going to make it um, show in a random, I'll make it go to a random place. So I'm going to pick up that random thing and drop it in twice. Because we've got two, we've got the x coordinate which is left and right, and the y coordinate which is up and down. And I happen to know that the best numbers to use for this here are minus 150 to 150, because I know that the, the actual um, screen that you have in Scratch is about 200 by 200. So if we make our snowflakes appear between minus 150 uh, and 150, uh, that will make it work. Uh, but maybe mean it's not off the edge of the screen or anything like that. And then the other thing I want to do is choose a random size for my snowflake. So I think that's on the looks. Yeah, I'm in the way again. Um, so uh, there's a set size too, and it takes in a percentage. So again, I drop that just below the show. And I want to set it to a random size. So again, I'm going to use the pick random. And this is a percentage. So 10% means about a tenth of the size. 100% means full size. So I'm going to do from about 10% to I think about 60% of the size, because it's actually a bit too big as it was, so we'll um, we'll go up to 60% uh, as the maximum size. So now my program says when the green flag's clicked, hide my snowflake, wait for a random amount of time, then move it to a random place, set its size to a random size, and then show it, then wait for six seconds and then do it over again. So let's just try that out. No, so it's been hidden, we're waiting, and then it appears, and you can see it's a different size, and it's appeared in a different place. It should disappear again. And then we'll wait a little bit longer, and it should reappear at a different place. And there it is, it was quite small that time. So you can see we're almost there, but we've only got one snowflake, and we want lots. So um, it's very easy in Scratch to make more. We just right-click and say Duplicate. I'm going to do this as many times as I can bear, if I can keep waffling on about things, I'll do it for a while. Because the more snowflakes you have, basically, the better the thing looks, in my opinion. So, when you do this, you should do absolutely as many as you can put up with. Try and fill up this little screen at the bottom with snowflakes. And let's, well, we nearly, let's say that's enough now. Okay, so maybe you want more, but let's see how this looks. So click the green flag. They all get hidden. They've all got the same program in them, so they all do the same thing. Oh, the other thing I want to do is bring, click, if I click on my Merry Christmas and move it, it comes to the front so that the snowflakes don't uh, go on top of it, which is nicer. So there you are. So let's just look at that big. And that is pretty much it. That is how to make... Uh, a snowflake Christmas card in Scratch on your Raspberry Pi or on any other computer. Um, you could do all kinds of other things with this. So I've just drawn a, quite a boring blue background. Uh, you could draw a lovely picture there or a snow scene or something exciting. You could make your snowflakes move around instead of just uh, appearing and disappearing. Uh, or maybe you could make them get bigger or get smaller, um, something like that. So feel free to experiment. Um, and uh, maybe next time we'll do something similar, um, but in JavaScript instead of Scratch. See you next time.